Suppose A is a matrix and vector U is an eigenvector corresponding to the eigenvalue lambda equals three. And vector V is an eigenvector corresponding to the eigenvalue lambda equals five. For the first part, we're asked to find matrix A times vector U and matrix A times vector V. Because we have an eigenvector and the corresponding eigenvalue, we can determine matrix A times the eigenvector by determining lambda the eigenvalue times the eigenvector. Matrix A times vector U is equal to the eigenvalue of three times vector U, which is equal to the vector negative 12, negative three, negative nine, negative nine. Next we have matrix A times the eigenvector vector V, which is equal to the eigenvalue of five times vector V. which is equal to the vector 20, negative five, negative 15, 25. And then for the second part of the question, we're asked to find matrix A times the sum of the eigenvectors, vector U and vector V. Because matrix A times vector X represents a linear transformation, we can use the property shown here above to determine matrix A times the sum of the two eigenvectors. Matrix A times the sum is equal to matrix A times the first eigenvector of vector U plus matrix A times the second eigenvector or vector V, which is the vector four, negative one, negative three, five. And we just found these values on the previous slide. Matrix A times vector U is equal to three times vector U which is the vector negative 12, negative three, negative nine, negative nine. And matrix A times vector V is equal to five times vector V, which is the vector 20, negative five, negative 15, 25. From here we just add the corresponding components. Negative 12 plus 20 is eight. Negative three plus negative five is negative eight. Negative nine plus negative 15 is negative 24 and negative nine plus 25 is equal to 16. Matrix A times the sum of vectors U and V is equal to the vector eight, negative eight, negative 24, 16. I hope you found this helpful.